serious problem because if the foreigner would come to visit the Filipina, the ex-husband would file adultery. That's the reason why we always say to you, you really need to know the story, the backstory of your Filipina. The husband would get angry if she would be in a relationship. Because there are Filipinos that is hard to move on, aggressive towards it. It would really make a big scene and a big problem towards you. It's right. either you go to jail or you cannot come here in the Philippines. Welcome, welcome to, to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. My name is Esme. It's me, Roger. And, and welcome, welcome to Roger, Roger and Esme Vlogs. So today's subject, one of the biggest nightmares if you're dating a Filipina single mom. So before we start, again, salamat sa inyong pagigugma o pagsuporta sa among channel. Thank you so much for your love and support, guys. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell for new uploads or new videos. So, hi guys! <laughs> you, maybe you're wondering that, why are they not having videos it's been a while <laughs> yeah actually we just uh got back from the mountains after uh giving food or rice and groceries there so we're here now though it's difficult to uh edit videos there because we don't have electricity and at the same time we don't have a laptop so now um since we're here in san carlos we have time or so much time too um, edit videos. Yes, the only thing that is a little bit difficult for us is we cannot do interviews here because of the people. It's more convenient if we can do interviews in the mountains, but the only thing is there's no electricity and no laptop to use. That's the main problem. After giving rice and groceries, there there are like people asking why uh their names are not on the list um we explained to them that we cannot afford to give them all because of the budget yes. but uh there will be a second wave or next time because there will be like two subscribers who uh, donated already and uh, we're so thankful for that so and also we have to wait for the next salary so that we can also contribute money for that and um, we will prioritize those households that uh, they're not included on that uh, uh, wave yes true so we would prioritize them since they didn't receive in the first wave so the second wave are for those that didn't receive any correct yes. so maybe they're excited but uh well i still we're also excited because aside from giving groceries to the people we also give pencils with uh, 50 pesos <laughs> in it and that's for the kids or students as you can see in the video and uh next month also maybe we will do that again yes hopefully mm. hopefully yeah. in god's perfect time <laughs> yes, true. Because we're really happy. Although we're really exhausted, but we're really happy. Especially yeah. for Haley. <laughs> yeah, that's one of our goals in our, our channel as well. That we can also help other people. And also the kids, not just in the mountains, but also here in the cities. Especially those uh, poor people. That uh, they really need help. It's true. And we're not just putting in Filipinos here. We are also helping also foreigners that is in need. Yeah, broke uh, foreigner. And we saw one foreigner here in San Carlos and in the next day we will uh, give him a grocery and also rice. True, because he really needs the help. And uh, he has a kid and we can really see that uh, he needs help. So we will go there and give them food or groceries yes so guys this topic today is really broad and it's not just filipinas that is facing this consequences 
And of course, aside from the kids of your Filipina would not welcome you, there are bigger problems that would be a big consequence if you would marry or date a single mom. Yeah, and maybe this is the biggest nightmare that they would really encounter because it's a big trouble also. And you might be uh, go to jail because of this uh, problem. True. One of our subscribers made a comment there. It was long, but to make the story short, he is experiencing or he is dating a Filipina that is a single mom. And that Filipina is separated with his ex-husband for 10 years. They have a problem, a serious problem, because if the foreigner would come to visit the Filipina, the ex-husband would file adultery, yeah. which is unfair for both of them because that ex-husband didn't even give any penny for their kids. He's being selfish for the happiness for, for both. Yes, that's true. Especially if that ex-husband didn't want to break up with the ex-wife. That is a big problem. That's the reason why we always say to you, you really need to know the story, the backstory of your Filipina. We cannot tell you that, oh, don't choose a single mom. You cannot dictate the heart. You cannot dictate any person, especially if they're in love. Right, and even as we cannot dictate them, That's of course, true. because they're the one uh, controlling or handling their, their relationship their emotions right but all they need to do or what we can say or advice is you really need to know if you are dating a Filipina who is a single mom so you really need to know if uh, she has like still a connection with uh, her ex-husband yes that's the main question there because once you would know that they're still connected to each other there is a bigger chance that they can be together again or the husband would get angry if she would be in a relationship because there are filipinos that is hard to move on right. especially if they're in the stage that they didn't find a partner true and to avoid this kind of uh, situation or headache then you have to to make sure if a filipina also is already married and then if she's married then you have to make an arrangement with the ex-husband or you have to go to the court and uh for both parties you have to like file the annulment though it's a long process but that will be the safest way That's to enter true. like a relationship yes there are also filipinas that would go to the barangay to have a written agreement with the ex-husband that he would not interfere with her relationship with the foreigner. Because there are husbands that uh, they're already okay. They're, they're already quits with the ex-wife. Yeah. yeah, they have already, both parties already have a partner. So it's better to have a written agreement with the barangay so both parties are safe. Well, there are still husbands that even after like having the written agreement, but in the, in the long run, they will still or he will still like uh, file a case against them. Yes. But again, like I mentioned earlier, the safest way is to um, let your Filipina file an, an annulment. annulment. Which is much better and justified in court. Because once you would try to really push it that you would be aggressive towards it it would really make a big scene and a big problem towards you it's right. either you go to jail or you cannot come here in the philippines true so you have to remember this uh, type of scenario which is a good question coming from our uh, subscriber and it would be a lesson for everyone because uh, who knows you might encounter a single filipina that is already married then you already have knowledge how to avoid this uh, situation that you might encounter true and again guys even though you would say in our mind it's unfair it is like giving a ne really negative thing even though that you would say that he didn't give any any penny towards the kids no 
justice would always be justice. Yes, especially if they are married, then the, the law will always uh, value the marriage. They will really follow the rules and restrictions. Right. So, I guess guys, that's it for today's topic. Thank you so much for watching till the end and we hope to see you in our next vlog. No hate, just, just love. love. Bye! Bye.